Oh no, here we go. Look, look, there you go. Oh, he's actually looking in. Welcome back everybody to Tesla Driver. I hope you're doing very well. Today we're going to be looking at a brand new software update. This is 2020.24.6.4. Quite a long one and there's been a few really cool updates. So let's have a look into it. Before we deep dive into these release notes, I just want to thank our 42 patrons who are helping support the channel. I've sent out the superchargers to all those people who have become level 3 patrons and above. So if you want to receive one, I'm going to extend it for one more month only. Become a level 3, 4 or 5 patron to get yourself a free supercharger in the post and help support the channel. So thank you all for supporting. You're all listed down below. You're all awesome. Thank you very much for helping. Okay, enough about that. Let's jump into this. So the biggest thing is the backup camera improvements. You can now view video streams coming from your side repeater cameras for added visibility around the vehicle. When the backup camera is visible, simply swipe to display the repeater camera video feeds. So all we need to do is select the rear camera and as you can see, it's already appeared up. So you can actually get this to hide. So if you swipe it down, you you can hide it but i don't know why you would um, and there you go you basically have your left and right repeater and it looks exactly obviously as you'd expect from the mirrors here's some footage of it driving it does look really really cool and i did like the system i liked being able to see it myself as a passenger i like being able to see both of the mirrors holly said it was a cool gimmick as she would drive as she was driving but she didn't actually look at it herself she just looked at her mirrors except we did use it when we were parking because these here show the lines perfectly and sometimes Holly doesn't know she's quite in the lines and she opens her door to check whereas now she doesn't need to she can just look down into these and she'll see exactly that she has parked perfectly or a little bit skew with so it's a really cool improvement I really do like it um, what I would like to see is all of the cameras obviously accessible and a 360 bird's eye view uh, as you do get in BMWs Audis and lots of other cars actually where you can swipe around and have a look around this car should have that it's a really kind of basic advanced feature if that makes sense uh, and I hope to that bring that soon. One thing I would say though is the coloring is pretty bad in these two side cameras. I assume that they've got to keep the bit rate as low as possible, uh, but you will, will be able to see then in different light conditions, which is pretty good. There's no customization, so you can't move them around. Uh, so you can't select to zoom in, for example. For the rear view camera when I'm driving, I'd love to be able to zoom in about 50% and kind of sit this area because this is a little bit too wide for me while I'm driving. I'd like to be zoomed in a tiny bit. Uh, and yeah, I'd just be, like to be able to kind of move these around uh, and customize the layout but really cool and I love that in the update. Another camera upgrade is the dash cam viewer improvements. We suggested these viewers on our first ever dash cam preview video so thank you Tesla for watching our videos and listening to our community here on the Tesla Driver YouTube channel. To make sentry mode videos easier to review we have added a red dot along the video scrubber. I wonder who suggested that. Um, to indicate the moment when a sentry mode event was triggered. When playing a video, the dashcam viewer will skip ahead and begin playback right before that point. So let's have a look at this, shall we? And let's see how it works. So this will pop up our most recent one. Uh, let's go into... Let's have a look at the dashcam first. Uh, I don't know what any of these are so let's have a look at this one so you see right there there's actually a red dot that shows you where the sentry mode is and it has kind of played before it but it's played a minute or so before it so i'm going to scrub forward um as you'll see it's still not great on here you'll see that when you actually scrub it doesn't always put it to exactly where you want it to scrub to uh so let's go to the bit and this is apparently when the dash cam viewer saved just here so I'm intrigued. For some reason, it saved this video footage. I'm not 100% sure why. It looks absolutely fine to me. So yeah, that's a little bit strange. Let's go on to the Sentry footage. Um, Chippenham. Right. So we were at uh, we're at Aldi car park here and something happens in, again, two minutes. So let's fast forward it a little bit. Oh, we've got someone looking. Here we go. Sorry about all my shaking, by the way. I suffer from essential tremors and EPD. Um, is that it? Oh no, here we go. Look, look, there you go. Oh, he's actually looking in. So that is really cool. So it showed us exactly, uh, this guy's admiring the car, which is nice. He's going to go around the back. Yeah, this is, this is really cool. Yeah, he's admiring the car. So that's awesome. That's really cool that, uh, that guy was looking at it. He had his mask on as well. So let's have a look in the car park and see, let's see what else. This is actually pretty fun to do. So it's a minute long. It hasn't brought it to where the sentry mode has activated. So I don't know why it says it does that, but let's see if it scrubs correctly. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Okay, so it's going to go off in a few seconds. I wonder why. Oh, there we go. It's just someone... You can see it's a little bit glitchy. A little bit glitchy there. That was a bit weird. So he literally just walked straight past us with a trolley. I'm really surprised that that set that off. Let's have a look at one final one, shall we? Actually, this looks like the exact same one. 
It's the same guy coming the other way. That is brilliant. This is definitely going to be my new favorite thing. Just going through videos and finding kind of what set off the car is actually really cool to do. So here, it's uh, this kid. It's the kids dancing. Oh, you actually saw the car flash. The kids dancing set off. That sentry mode clip. You'll see how many of them I've recorded though. And each one is eight minutes long or like at least up to 10 minutes long, which is pretty insane. So we've got so much footage here that we don't need to see. And it only really needs to record maybe like 30 seconds before. So it literally, all it recorded was that guy walking past. That, I'm, I'm amazed that set it off. This maybe is a little bit too sensitive. Yeah, look at this again, a 10 minute and 49 second clip for just this one little bit of sentry mode. And what happens on it? Looks like it's gonna be, yeah, it's this family here. Uh, she's looking at the car, the kid's just like looking forwards. He's going on. I think she's, yeah, she's looking at the badge. She's definitely looking at the badge. Be like, what kind of car is that? That's quite, I do like seeing that. I do like seeing that, it's good to see. Um, and then you can kind of, you can kind of just snoop on people and see what, what, they, what they do. Oh, okay, it's frozen. Look at this, it's frozen. Oh, oh, whoa. Okay, so, whoa, look at it, look at this. Okay, so it's definitely still a bit buggy. I said it, I said it felt buggy because, like, it doesn't scrub correctly. Okay, so let's try that again. So I want to see this whole clip, for example. Let's see, say something happens in about 30 seconds. I want to see this, this bit of footage here. This is really, really important for me. Now, will it show it, or is it bugging out every time, or was that just a one-off? Let's see. Oh no, it's a complete bug. Look at that. It's actually set me back to eight minutes. So if I scrub forwards, okay, now we can see past it. So like, you see what I mean? It's pretty buggy. For some reason, it will throw you back and sometimes it won't scrub correctly. Uh, and they just they just get in the car and, and off they go. So a little bit buggy, but I really like the improvements. We've also got some tune-in improvements. Now, I'm not sure if this is globally because I don't know if everyone has tuned in with their cars. With this update, we've improved the usability and discoverability of tune-in stations and podcasts so it's easier to browse content. We've also added the ability to adjust playback speed of podcasts up to 2x. That's really good, actually, because sometimes when you're watching or listening to a podcast, some people do it to these videos. I like to speed them up by 1.5 times or sometimes two times, uh, and you can get through so much more content in a shorter period of time. So that's actually pretty cool. As as usual, the tune in, uh, to use tune in, tap on the media icon and select tune in. Walk away door lock improvements. You now have the option to disable walk away door lock when your vehicle is parked at home. Tap controls, lock, and select exclude home. So, controls, uh, we go onto here, click locks like that. And then as we scroll down, walk away door lock is on and you can exclude it at home. I guess that's cool if you had an issue with that. I didn't know that was an issue, so I'm intrigued to know if anyone had that. Let me know in the comment section, actually, if that's improved life for you for whatever reason. En route battery warm-up. So the car will now actually precondition the battery, get the battery ready and warm so it can accept as much charge as possible, not just as superchargers, but also any other fast charging locations so they'll have a little battery uh sorry a lightning bolt icon on them and you can actually pre-warm your battery so if you go to an ionity for example you can pre-warm it now that's a really nice upgrade and of course new language support is included and that's it for this new update sadly here in the uk we're still missing huge features in autopilot traffic lights stop signs stopping and continuing if there's a lead car. We don't have any of that yet, so hopefully we'll get that update very, very soon. Let me know what you think about the update down below in the description. Until next time, thank you for watching. Don't forget, drive safe.